Hey everybody, it's Matt again from Union Horror Movies, and welcome to shelf number three of my uh, horror collection, Shelf to Shelf series. So let's get on with part three. Um, we'll see y'all B, C's, and a little bit of D's. Alright, right now off the bat, uh, we have the Breed Steelbook. It's a killer dog film. wasn't bad. I'll put this over here for now. Uh, Brutes and Savages. More like a, I don't know, it's like a weird horror documentary on cannibalism, people getting eaten by gators and all that shit. Looks pretty cool. I found it at a pawn shop for cheap. Uh, Bubba Hotep, I may upgrade this down the road. We will see. I'm thinking about it still. If you think I should, let me know. Uh, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, spawned the awesome TV show. I found this with the original artwork. I know it's redone. And the artwork doesn't look that good, but I had to go with the original artwork. I love it. It's a kind of a good horror comedy. Bug. <clears throat> Killer cockroaches that set people on fire. Uh, great film from, I think it's the early 80s. Another one called Bug. Different title. Uh, more psychological horror. It's pretty cool. Alright, Bugs. Uh, this is a sci-fi channel. Uh, about giant killer scorpions in the subway tunnel. It's pretty cool. Another one called Bugs. This is a... Uh, fuck. I don't know if this is... Taiwanian or... Uh, yeah, it's Thai with Chinese and English subtitles. Uh, I think it's a Chinese film. Uh, almost like a Chinese version of a sci-fi channel movie. About these... About an American scientist working on these insects and of course they turn carnivorous during a tide tidal wave the little bugs wash ashore and start eating people kind of starts draining them dry and they go back to the uh the queen and the queen snacks on the little critters that are full of our dna pretty cool film i like what the bugs looked uh if you're not a fan of bad cgi you probably shouldn't get it <laughs> Uh, Bug Buster with good old uh, Randy Quaid in there. Uh, it's a fun little creature feature. It's even got a George Takei in it too. Uh, the Bunny Man Massacre. So I got the first one. Uh, Buried Alive. Don't know much about it. I have to watch it. Burning Bright. Cool people um, film. People are trapped in the home during a storm and a tiger's inside. Like the guy's a millionaire. He wanted a pet tiger. It's a weird flick, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the Burning Dead with Danny Trejo. <laughs> this movie's just bad. Funny bad. Uh, the Burrowers. Great uh, western horror creature feature movie. Uh, the Old Anchor Bay of Chud. Gotta have it. Love it. I can't wait for uh, the Blu-ray to come out. And have to get Chud too. Uh, original Cabin Fever with cool lenticular cover. And Cabin Fever 2 Spring Break. I like that one too. Still haven't seen the third one. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. I like it. Uh, Cameron's Closet. Cool 80s uh, demon film. Candy Strippers or Stripers. This is just goofy, but goofy fun. Uh, Candyman. Classic. Candyman 2 with lenticular cover. That's why I never bought the uh, the Blu-ray of it. Because I wanted to keep the lenticular. I think there's a Blu-ray. I don't know. I don't remember. And Candyman 3. Not the greatest, but hey. Candyman's are pretty solid films. Alright. Uh, good old Cannibal Holocaust. This is the uh, Grindhouse DVD. Two disc. Uh, Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death with Adrian Barbeau, Bill Mayer, Shannon Tweed. Uh, funny horror comedy. <laughs> kind of, it's put up by Full Moon. Uh, Carnivore, very low budget creature feature. Uh, Carnivorous with TMX. It's a weird sci-fi channel movie. Uh, Carnosaur. Carnosaur 2. And Carnosaur 3. Gotta have my cool dinosaurs. And of course, I do have Raptor, but it's in the R's. Mm. 
Uh, bootleg of Cast a Deadly Spell. This is a pretty cool movie. Uh, definitely needs a release. Pretty neat. It's kind of like a um, whodunit with demons and sorcery. Back, I think, due until like the 1950s. It's kind of neat. Uh, Old Anchor Bay of Cat and Nine Tales. Argento. Uh, the Catcher. Um, with Joe Estevez. Low budget. Another baseball themed slasher. But low budget baseball themed slasher. Uh, there's even a rape scene with a baseball bat. Yeah. Weird. Uh, the Cave. Uh, I wanted more from this, but it was actually not bad. Uh, cello. Cool Asian horror. Uh, Cemetery Gates, fun creature feature film. Very bloody, very gross, but good shit. Good high body count. Old Acre Bay of <clears throat> Cemetery Man. Classic, love it. Uh, centipede, uh, weird creature feature. Lots of centipedes. Uh, Chaz, this is a... Oh, I don't know if this is j j uh, Japanese or what. It is a giant killer boar flick. And I want to say it is a Japanese film. Uh, but it's solid. It's pretty cool. The boar's blah, practical effects. Uh, Charlie's Form, great slasher, Australian horror. The Children, finally got this one. Love it. Good old trauma. Uh, Children of the Corn 2, Final Sacrifice. Children of the Corn 3, Urban Harvest. They're fun. And Children of the Corn 4. That's pretty much where I stop. If you're wondering where Children of the Corn 1 is, it's on Blu-ray. Uh, the Chilling. Got to meet uh, Linda Blair. She signed it. She was kind of confused that this movie was still available. And even finished. It's kind of neat. Uh, Chocolate Strawberry Vanilla. Put out by Wild Eye. It's actually really good. Check it out. Good revenge uh, film. Chop. <laughs> uh, Choppy Mall. Of course, I kept this one. Um, I have the Blu-ray. It's a double dipper, but I don't mind double dipping on Choppy Mall since I do have a tattoo of it on my leg. All right. Uh, Christmas Evil. I never bothered to uh, get the Blu-ray. I always liked this uh, artwork. That was pretty cool. Chubbies, low budget creature feature. Love this artwork. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, Chupacabra Terror. Funny sci fi channel. Old sci fi channel flick. Chupacabra on a boat. I know Moods will love that if he already, doesn't already have it. Uh, Clash of the Dead. This is a found footage zombie film. It actually wasn't bad. They're World War I zombies attacking people on an old battlefield. Uh, Clonus, Welcome to America. It's a pretty cool uh, Mondo Macabre film. I actually found it cheap at FYE. Always look for the red cases. Uh, Closet Space, the same guy who did uh, 100 Tears. Funny, weird film, low budget, goofy goriness. Club Dread, uh, comedy slasher. It's pretty good. I love the Broken Lizard guys. Uh, Cockneys vs. Zombies, fun uh, Zomcom. Alright, slide over a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, Cold Prey, another good slasher. I need to get part two, and I wish part three had American subs. Collector, the collection. Uh, College Girl Murders, pretty cool film. Man, my arm is freaking killing me here. Can tell I'm getting out of shape when you can't hold a damn phone for this long. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Congo. I do have Congo in my collection because it is a killer ape film. So, yeah, I know some people say it's more action. But nope. Killer apes. Uh, the contract wasn't bad. It was a blind buy for me. Well worth the blind buy. Uh, cornered with Steve Gutenberg. It's an okay slasher. Uh, Corporate Cutthroat Massacre. Haven't watched it yet. I'd pay like a buck for it. Someday. Uh, the Coven. Pretty shitty film. Don't recommend it at all. 
But I do recommend this one. The craft, I think they're trying to take the, the idea from the craft. Uh, Crash from Full Moon. Great uh, killer car film. Uh, Crawl or Die was also known as uh, Run Bitch Run. Very claustrophobic film. Wow, it's a cool creature feature film. But very, very, very claustrophobic. <laughs> and if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Uh, Crawler. Uh, this is a killer bulldozer movie. Kind of like a remake of Killdozer. It's a Canadian film. Uh, Crazy Eights from After Dark Horror Fest. Uh, Creature with uh, Sid Haig. It was okay. I know it gets some hate, but I didn't mind it. Alright, another one called Creature, but this is Bollywood's uh, first Creature feature. Weird movie, the creature looked kind of awkward, had a weird like lizard mustache. It was okay, could have been better, but hey, for a Bollywood movie, why not? Creature feature, uh, cool um, Halloween anthology. Creature from the Hillbilly Lagoon, <laughs> weird low budget uh Almost like a creature from the Black Lagoon type remake film. It was gory, but good. Come here. Creatures of Darkness. Uh, it's an alien invasion kind of film. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Without Warning. Uh, creepy Crawling. Kind of a horror anthology to deal with bugs. Creepazoids from Full Moon. Fun creature feature. Good old creep show and the old snapper case, which I hate, but uh, someday I'll upgrade. Uh, old Anchor Bay version of Creep Show 2. Had to have it. I've had this one first, but then of course I found the Creep Show 2 Divi Max edition. Had to keep them both. I love Creep Show 2 a lot, and of course I love Part 1. And unfortunately, Creep Show 3, which sucks. The only reason why I have it is to complete the series. So yeah, don't recommend it. Uh, creepy Crawlers, cool little bug film. Critters 1 through 4, love them. Oh, come on, arm. Jeez. Toby Hooper's Crocodile, love it. Uh, Crocodile 2, Death Swamp, it's fun. Bootleg of Crowhaven Farm. And of course the Bootleg of Cruel Jaws. Pretty much takes Jaws 1 and 2. Uh, Last Shark, Deep Blood, a mix of movie out of it. Uh, Cry Wolf, wasn't too fond of this movie. Uh, Crying Wolf, so I had to watch this werewolf film. Cryptic Plasm, awesome gory film, highly recommend it. Uh, the Cryptid, low budget creature feature, like all puppets. Not bad, by that convention. Cube, awesome psychological horror film, highly recommend it. Uh, Cult <sighs> Terror Cinema comes with uh, Carnival Crime, The Hearse, uh, Flesh Burn, The Babysitter, Horror High, Land of the Minotaur, Creeping Terror, Lurkers, The Teacher, Bloodlust, Escape uh, from Hell's Island, and The Crater Lake Monster. I mostly bought this for The Hearse and Land of the Minotaur. I have The Crater Lake Monster on Blu-ray, but for a... Multi-pack, it was four dollars, five bucks. Good old Mill Creek. It's pretty cool. Uh Carandero, Dawn of the Demon, so I have to watch it. <laughs> uh Curse 1 and 2, sometime I'll upgrade. Uh Curse of the Demon, Night of the Demon, pretty much the same movie, just different cuts. Uh Curse of the Komodo, fun uh Jim Wynorski film. Uh Curse of the Witching Tree. Uh, Cursed from Wes Craven. I do have a Blu-ray, but this is the unrated version. The Blu-ray is actually cut. Cyclone. Fun uh, shark film. Daddy's Little Girl. Uh, Damnation Alley. Cool uh, uh, post-apocalyptic film. Uh, the Dark with Nev Campbell. Fun creature feature. Uh, Dark Floors with the band Lordy. Weird movie. Some of it's just weird on it, but it was actually not bad. 
And we have a uh, Dark Harvest, Dark Harvest 2, and Dark Harvest 3. Yes, I want a little uh, Scarecrow themed buying right there. I bought all three of them at a, at a, at a game store for like dirt cheap. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. And uh, that is shelf number three. And pretty soon I'll upload shelf number four. Thanks guys. Peace.